Hello again, y'all. It's your boy, Marcus. I review stuff. Uh, today I'm reviewing the song The Dark by Thrice. Uh, I've listened to Thrice before on my channel. I listened to The Grey, and I really enjoyed it. So, uh, you know, this was another request for Thrice, and I'm like, alright, totally down to, to hear more from them, because I really, other than The Grey, I don't think I've really heard much music from them before. So, anyway, like I said, this is a request, so... If you would like to request something, please just leave uh, a comment, and I will definitely get to it. Um, I still have my list going, so knocking that out as much as I can each week. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's get to it. This is The Dark by Thrice. Here we go. Well, that was pretty good. I like that song. Um, just right off the bat, I'm wondering, like, is this like a sequel or a prequel to The Grey? Because, you know, obviously the, the, the song title is pretty similar. But this one is The Dark versus The Grey. So I wonder, you know, does this come before The Grey? Does this come after? Or am I just looking too much into that aspect of it? I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I kind of like the song. 
Um, I, I don't know if I liked it as much as like the gray. I think the gray just had a little bit more uh, of what I like when it comes to like rock music, but this one definitely has its place, um, and I, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, anyway, let's break it down. Let's talk about the lyrics. Uh, you try and keep me out of sight. You try and keep me out of sight and out of mind. Out of mind. You try to keep me from the light. You try to keep me from the light, but I know it's mine. I know it's mine. Interesting. Um, so you try to keep me out of sight of someone that you you're, maybe you're ashamed of and keep me out of mind. Uh, you try to keep me from the light, but now it's mine. Interesting. Okay, so you're rigging the game. You're part of the system. It shows in the way that you never listen when I speak. I'm not going to wait. I've made my decision. So it sounds like he's having a problem with um, either an individual person or maybe uh, a part of society, right, that um, kind of pushes certain people uh, to the edges of society. Um, and I'm not going to sit in the dark anymore. No, I'm not going to sit in the dark anymore. You're always telling me I'm not. You're always telling me I'm not not enough, and I'm enough. You're always turning back the clock. You're always turning back the clock, but time is up. Time is up. I wonder with that line, always turning back the clock. Again, if this is a maybe a song about um, an oppressed uh, group of people, you know, always turning back the clock to where the oppression was was much greater. Uh, either that, or maybe. Um, giving themselves more time uh, to achieve what they want to achieve, um, which I think is interesting. Uh, you're rigging the game. You're part of the system. It shows in the way that you never listen to listen when I speak. I'm not going to wait. I've made my decision, and I'm not going to sit in the dark anymore. We've taken our knocks. We're, we're not going to take them anymore. We're not going to stop because we've seen a world worth fighting for. So ready or not, together we're kicking down the door. And we're not going to sit in the dark anymore. So, yeah, I, I do think this is maybe mostly about um, kind of a, uh, so it reminds me of like Muse's Uprising. It's like uh, this is, um, you know, we're talking about kind of rising together uh, to fight some sort of injustice, right? Um, and that's kind of the vibe that I get from the, got from this. It's not, I don't think, just him, and I, I could totally be wrong here, but it's not just him uh, speaking out that there's an injustice against him. I think it's more of towards a group of people, a uh, marginalized group of people, perhaps. Um, so I think it's pretty interesting. Um, lyrically, I like that it kind of makes me think a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what the message is here, but I do like that it's uh, coherent enough that I can kind of understand what's going on. Um, and I can kind of, I, I feel like maybe pinpoint a little bit of, of the message here. But like I said, I do kind of wonder if this is, at, at least lyrically, um, and I don't know much about Thrice or their discography, but I wonder if this is maybe a successor to or a precursor to uh, The Grey, like I said. Um, and I wonder if, if they have any connection just having similar uh, song titles there. So, um, yeah, let me know. Those of you who are pretty big fans of Thrice, let me know what you, what you think or if you have any insight on that because I'd love to hear it. Um, but lyrically, you know, I, I give it two thumbs. Like I said, interesting enough to make me really think about it. Um, but not too complex that it just went right over my head. I feel like I was able to grasp at least somewhat of the message, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I give it two thumbs up. I think it was a pretty good uh, song lyrically. Uh, I think instrumentally and vocally is kind of where it shines here. Um, even though I enjoyed the lyrics, I just think that um, instrumentally there's definitely this, this you know, very appropriate to, this, to the song title, this really dark, uh, kind of intense feeling to it. I think they really achieved that with the instrumentation there. Uh, the singer has a good voice, and I think I said some, the same thing on The Grey when I reviewed that. Um, I, I like his voice. He's got a good voice for rock. Um, and, you know, it, it really shows here in this song as well, kind of dark and... Uh, uh, just uh, almost sort of mysterious, I, I want to say. I don't know if that's the proper term that I'm even looking for, but that's kind of how I feel about his voice. Really good voice for rock, like I said. Um, instrumentally, I like, I like some of the softer tones, but I do also like how it picked up uh, towards the end of the song, and they kind of went with a little bit more of a intense instrumentation there. So, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, this one. Instrumentally and vocally, I, I give it two thumbs up as well. As far as listenability, accessibility goes, I'd say that maybe that suffers a little bit because it is kind of a darker, moodier song. Um, 
but but with a, I think a pretty good message uh, if I'm interpreting it correctly. So you know I still give it a thumb up. I think it's a pretty enjoyable song, uh, especially if you're if you're a fan of rock. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, you know. Uh, so overall, you know, pretty good song. Not, not much else to say about it. Um, I have, I'll probably have to give it a re-listen. I feel like I just I didn't take it fully in on this first listen. Definitely have to give it a second one here pretty soon, but maybe after I stop recording the video. Uh, but yeah, you know, I might update my thoughts later. We'll see. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, so that's it for the review. Thank you for the request. Um, as always, if you would like to request something, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see me cover. I got a long list going, so I'm sorry if um, you've requested something recently and just haven't seen it. Uh, I'll get to it. Don't worry. Uh, if you want to see, see more from me, of course, you can do all the stuff you normally do on YouTube, like, subscribe, or you can even follow me on Twitter, which will also be in the description description and then uh if you enjoy the music please go support the artists go listen to their music wherever you can so anyway that's it for me i'm marcus and i just reviewed some stuff and i'll see you guys in the next review that i do all right bye